Hey guys, welcome to Des Logic. This is the 19th video of the playlist that I have created for you guys on Adobe Illustrator for iPad. If you haven't checked out the previous videos, I will put the links in the description. You can check them out. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, in this video, I will try to explain the path panel that is available in the panel section of your application. So let's tap on that. Here you can see some options that we already have discussed in the uh, video that I have created on direct selection tool. But for your convenience, I will try to explain them as short as possible. And if you want a detailed video on that, uh, let's tap on the eye icon or I will put the link in the description you can check the video. So, for example, uh, to understand the options, let's create a shape. Uh, select the pen tool, tap on the artboard like that, like that. I'm creating multiple anchor points so we can understand these options clearly. Okay, so this is a shape, for example, and uh, if you select this shape and tap on this path panel, and uh, it will not work with the simple selection tool. It will work with the direct selection tool. So let's tap on this direct selection tool icon, and now tap on the path panel, and you can see we have all these options enabled. The first one is the cut path. So if you want to divide the shape on the basis of anchor points, for example, if I want these two anchor points to be a separate shape, uh, let's tap, select those anchor points and tap on this cut to path. And now if you select them, both these shapes are now separated and they will act like separate shapes. So the next option is the convert to corners. So the anchor points that are curved or angled will be converted to cornered anchor points. And the third option is the inverse of the second one that the cornered anchor points are converted into the curved ones or the angled ones. So for example, uh, this anchor point right here is a cornered anchor point and you can tap on this and convert to curve and now you can see we have the angle handles uh, available and in the same way if I want to convert to corner let's tap on this corner icon and this anchor point is now converted to corner anchor point so the next option is join path. So for example, let's divide this shape into two by cut path. Select this shape and tap on direct selection tool and I'll select these two anchor points. So now as you can see, this shape is divided. So now select the anchor point of these two shapes like that and tap on this path panel and tap on this join path option like that and now you can see both these shapes are now become one and the area that was between them is now the part of the shape now So guys, the next option in the path panel is the simplify path. Uh, simplify path will decrease the number of anchor points that are unnecessary for the shape. So as you can see, we have uh, six anchor points right now in the shape. So while selecting this shape, tap on this path panel and tap on this option, which is the simplify path. And now you can see we have only four anchor points and the shape 
of this drawing is also not disturbed. So the simplify path option is a very intelligent option. Uh, it will not disturb the shape, but it will also decrease the number of anchor points at the same time. Okay, the next one is the smart delete. If you want to delete an anchor point in your drawing, for example, I want to delete this anchor point. Let's tap on this path panel and tap on this mod delete and this anchor point is now gone. So the last option is the delete option. Uh, if you tap on this by selecting any anchor point like I did the second one from the left and tap on this delete option and now the anchor point is gone. So the difference between smart delete and the delete option is if you tap on the smart delete option, it will not disconnect the shape. It will keep joining the two anchor points that are available or that were the part of the drawing. But in the delete option, connection break like this one. And uh, for example, if we do the smart delete, the connection will remain. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you like this video. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.